All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I've got a very, very quick JP news update for you guys regarding the Dokkan V-Jump League. That just dropped about 30 minutes ago and we were able to learn some pretty interesting stuff about what's coming to JP in the near future from this league. All right, now real quick, a big shout out to Dokkan Air on Twitter for posting all the information that we'll be using in this video. And uh, it looks like the next celebration on JP is gonna be a Universe 6 themed one. And the main unit, the new Dokafest unit, is gonna be a transforming Kefla. So she starts off as a base SSR Kefla, then Dokan awakens into a base TUR Kefla, and then transforms into Super Saiyan Kefla, and then a final transformation into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. So, we don't really have any specific details about how her transformations actually work, but I would assume it's going to work very similar to like the transforming Trunks, transforming Zamasu, or the recent Gotenks and uh, Boo, where basically it's going to be some kind of condition, maybe not too difficult of a condition to meet first for her to automatically transform into Super Saiyan Kefla, and then for the second transformation, it's going to be once again another condition, maybe just number of turns passed where an active skill will allow you to transform into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Now, of course, this is just an assumption and she could work, you know, completely different from the other units we've seen so far, but I think it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be a similar mechanic to those units I just talked about. And a few other things we learned from this leak is that there's going to be some new exclusive equipment for the category of uh, Universe 6 units or the Universe 6 category, so that's gonna be kind of interesting to see exactly how that works. And uh, there's also gonna be two new Extreme Z Awakenings for the Fizz Kale, the Berserk Kale, and also the AGL Kefla, or sorry, Khalifla. Now, no EZA for the Fizz Kefla as far as we know. I mean, that would have been nice, but um, two EZAs for the Kale and Khalifla is definitely nice, definitely something that. A lot of people have been asking for for a very long time and uh, I dare say I might be actually more excited for the EZA for these two girls than the actual new Kefla itself. I mean of course we have to see exactly what she does, what she looks like, what her animations look like, all that stuff for me to get like super hyped about it. Kefla has always just been kind of a you know decent character to me, never like a super exciting character to me obviously. I could be crazy to some of you guys, and maybe you guys are huge Kefla fans, that's cool, but um, for now, I'm going to withhold my judgment. I'm going to say, cool, new Kefla, we'll see what she looks like, but I definitely am very excited for these two EZAs, and uh, the interesting thing is that both of these units, I feel like, actually, I was going to say both of them are really good, but the Kale is still really solid, like she still hits pretty freaking hard for a unit as old as she is. The Khalifla, I feel like has needed, needed an EZA for a while, like she doesn't hit that hard. I mean, that high chance to dodge is definitely clutch, but her damage, quite underwhelming. She has no defense as, as well, so um, she was definitely, I, mean, I wouldn't say no defense, she does raise defense, but like, it was still pretty lackluster. So I would say she has needed an EZA for a while. The Kale, at least from a damage perspective, was already pretty impressive, so it's gonna be very interesting to see what she uh, what they do with her, like maybe 150% attack, maybe she launches two additional supers, maybe like it's one additional super, and then the second super is like based on some kind of condition, like the kind of enemy you're facing, or maybe it's gonna be uh, based on if you have a Khalifla or a Kefla on the team, who really knows, there's a lot of stuff they could obviously do with her to make her even better than she already is. I've been excited for these EZAs. I'm looking forward to exactly what kind of changes they make. And uh, of course, with the EZAs, they're gonna have also gonna have higher stats. So this Kale's gonna hit even harder. So uh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. If you guys have any ideas or any guesses about what the EZAs will look like, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And then maybe in a couple days, once we get the actual details, you guys can see how close you actually were, right? So. Uh, there you go guys, those are all the details, all the information we learned from this month's B-Jump leak. I mean, the official image hasn't come out yet, so maybe when the actual scan comes out, we'll get some more details. And if we do, then I'll let you guys know 
in a future video. But generally speaking, these V-Jump leaks don't really offer that much information, so I'm assuming that pretty much what we see here is all the information we'll get until we get closer to the actual release for the Kefla and also the EZAs for the two girls. So uh, yeah guys, that is today's video. Oh, one other thing I want to mention is uh, for now, we have no additional information for Global. This is just for JP. And uh, of course, as more information comes out, if we get more details about part two for Global's Goku Day in the next couple hours or couple days, whatever it may be, then I'll definitely let you guys know. Keep you guys informed and in the loop in an upcoming video. But that's it guys, that's all I gotta say. That is today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.